Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Win Without War, Stephen Miles. Good evening. Uh, humbling does not begin to describe the feeling I feel right now. Uh, thank you. The first elder we honor here this evening is Daniel Ellsberg, who in 1971... Daniel, in 1971, thought that by this evening in 2015, he would probably still be in jail. <laughs> he expected a life sentence for what he was thinking about doing, but he and Anthony Russo copied and released the Pentagon Papers anyway. <laughs> That's characteristic of many of you in this room this evening. You were moved to do things that you knew would bring the roof down around you, potentially costing you your reputations, your jobs, your friends, family ties, maybe your freedom, perhaps even your life, but you did it anyway. The reverberations of what you and Daniel did continue in the actions today of Chelsea Manning, Julian Assange, Edward Snowden, <laughs> Laura Poitras, Glenn Greenwald, and so many others. This new crop can trace its courage directly back to Ellsberg. Listen to the words of Edward Snowden. Thank you, Dan Ellsberg, for everything you've done for us as a nation and a society. You have given so many so much, and you told us the truth about what our government was doing at a time when the truth was very hard to come by. I watched a documentary about your life while I was grappling with the issues, these issues myself, and it had a deep impact. It really shaped my thinking, so thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all thank Daniel Ellsberg. Yeah, that's nice.